Hello everybody, my name is Jenny Sprung and this is do-it-yourself pain relief treatyourselfnaturally.com and this is my do-it-yourself video production. I would like to work with you on glutes, buttocks, releasing tight trigger points in the piriformis, um, perhaps creating space and relief from sciatic pain down the leg. Low back pain can be addressed by releasing these large muscles. So gluteus maximus, minimus, medius, piriformis, uh, all through the um, sacrum, through the pelvis, the ilium, and around down into the femur. So we're going to work all of this area by using the foam roller. So the equipment you need is a foam roller and this is superior for the glutes. This is a superior um, way to work. Uh, this is a, a resource um, you can get from any sporting goods store. It's about 35 bucks, but you can also um, uh, find it probably somewhere in your house or maybe your neighbor has one. Um, so check around uh, Craigslist, they're fine. They're not um, super soft and not super hard. You want it to have some sponge. You want to be able to create a dent when you squeeze it. All of the um, resources that I use in my videos can be found on my website. And thank you so much for tuning in. So I want to work the glutes. I also would like you to find some balls around the house because these are great for working the glutes. Anytime you're seated in the car, you can affect change. Uh, if you have sciatic pain, if you're experiencing spasm, you're going to want to start slow and be careful. Check my website for other ways, heat, uh, cold, um, arnica, some other things you can use for pain relief. Um, first and foremost, you want to check with your physician, check in with yourself. Uh, you have the innate wisdom to create change, space in your body, to alleviate pain, decrease discomfort in these areas, increase uh, balance and structure and flow through the body, um, improve posture, improve gait, improve your quality of life. So find a qualified therapist, an integrated neurosomatic therapist, um, all of my um, credentials um, and training are on my website and you can, you can find a therapist um, that you trust, a well-educated, knowledgeable, efficient and effective therapist in between treatment from a professional. You can amplify the healing by tending to it yourself and that is what this is all about. So let's say you're having a spasm in your glute, so much so that you're down. Um, uh, I've been there. I know exactly how that feels. So we're going to start with the foam roller, and then we'll we'll go through some other uh, some other items. Remember though that don't do this for too long. Um, my clients, uh, if they if this is done appropriately and prudently, not too long, they won't create pain. They'll just therapeutically reduce trigger points and open fascia. And that's what I'd like you to do. So we're going to start just on the hips. You're going to go into a plank position. A smile on your face. And joy in your heart. Um, and come into the... Um, just where the glutes attach into the femur. So I'll show you on the model in a minute. But your good form. Don't go too long in this plank position. I don't want you to stretch your shoulder. And if you can't do it, no worries. Uh, just um, grab a ball, and I'll show you other options as we move through the video. So you're going to come into, and it's going to be pretty stingy, all along the very side of the body. Let me show you on the model the glute attachments. So all through here. It's um, basically about a six or seven inch long area on the side. Okay, we're warming up. We're just warming it up, and and make sure that you 
have a good balance with that top leg. The top leg is in front or behind. You can even support the head. The leg you're working, the glute you're working is relaxed. You can bend it or you can straighten it and make it tight, taut, and flexed. See what works for you. You make the decision. You uh, make the, the call and, and see what works. And then you can start to face up but right where the ceiling meets the wall. And uh, going to the glute. Ah, there's a spot. <sighs> Everyone's different. Some people have really sore, spasmy glutes. If this is creating sensation and referrals up and down the leg or in the back, come out of it. Take a break. Go, go above it. Go below it. Find a spot that just feels like it needs to release. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath. Go wait to 12 seconds. See if you can roll that fascia out. Maybe create a little release in the trigger point and then go from there. So we're gonna look up and roll the side, a little bit of the back body. And then you can also go back and forth. And go back and forth again in the glutes where they originate up at the top of the ilium. They can be quite intense. So see, there's a trigger point that I feel that goes down into my pelvis. So I'm going to show you where I am and show you where I feel the point. I am right here. This is so juicy in here to get. Get this with the ball or the foam roller. I'm in here and I'm going back and forth. And we're kind of going into the sacroiliac joint on the inside and then way out. But when I come into a spot right here, I feel it all the way down into my ischium. And that's, that's good. That's juicy, good stuff. So on my website, there's an article that's associated with this. It just gives you some just a little bit of familiarizing yourself with the diagram of the anatomy. This is not an anatomy class. This is just about how to leave you and have someone to do this with. Um, I teach a foam roller class and it's fun to do it with people. So I'm working the glutes and I'm moving my way down into the glutes. The glutes are large, large muscle mass. And they can have a lot of trigger points in there. The deep hip rotator, so you can move things around, get a little stretch in the fascia. Now see, I'm getting tired. I'm tired of holding my head up. I'm tired of propping myself up. So um, listen to your body. Move it around. Give yourself a little break. And let's do a little bit of a different uh, movement. So you're going to lift up and place the roller in between your glutes and your knees and then you're going to lie down on the mat relax the head and relax the neck then you're going to bridge up and hold on to your roller make sure that you've got the roller and you're not going to let it shoot out from underneath you okay the next thing i i would like you to think about is your placement here i don't want you to go in the waistline I want you to be on the pelvis, on the bony structure, okay? I will show you with the model, and then we'll come back. The placement's important. I do not want you to be in the waistline, up in the low back. I'd like you to be just on this bone, and we're going to work from this bony landmark, from right here, all the way down and into the sacrum. There's so many amazing points in here that you can create space in, blood flow, oxygen flow, healing. You can have a therapeutic effect on your body. You can do it yourself. So now, the option is, is just to roll back and forth all along the sacrum, all along the pelvis, all along the ilium. And slowly bring one leg up and just move it around. One of the things I don't want is arching and tucking the chin like this. And relax the body, relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Now start your breathing. Whew. 
In my foam roller class, people are breathing, and the best breath is going to be two to four counts in and four to eight counts out. That gives a lot of uh, uh, oxygen flow relaxation and also attention creates attention. So now this left leg is going down, the right leg is going up so you can have a good view of what I'm doing is I'm just moving the leg around. And some of you will say, I can't move my leg around like that. And just keep it up. Keep it up. And slowly you can bring both legs up. And I'm right on my sacrum. Um, I don't want you to ever let go of the roller. You can let one hand go as we move forward through the through the uh, protocol, uh, but always hold on to your roller when it's underneath. And then you're going to start to roll to one side. Let that glute that you're working on, the glute that's laying on the roller, relax. Here, if you're well versed with the roller, you can lift that back arm, but always hold on. Some people like to really stretch out and keep their glute tight, taut, and flexed while they roll it. And they'll also feel a lot of the uh, front muscles, the psoas, and deep abdominal muscles stretching, uh, quads. And you'll, you'll feel this down to the bone. But for some of you, perhaps that's too intense. I don't want you to do too much too fast. We're rolling out the glutes. There's a spot. There's the piriformis. I can feel that heating up my entire leg. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't bother me. If it hurt, I would get out of it. I would not, uh, I'm not looking to produce pain. I am finding tender spots and releasing them. Here's the back view. The glutes are hanging off roller on the back side and here's a big spot right here and I, I work out a lot I row I cycle I box I lift weights I have fun uh, working my body out and so this I feel so I'm going to come right in here try to let go of the glutes and what happens is, is even when I work on people in my practice they tighten the glutes so take a few breaths and give yourself time, permission to reduce those trigger points. And then you can straighten up that leg a little bit and do some rolling. Yeah, I'm going to come back. I'm going to move the roller down just a little bit further. How far down do you go? No further than the end of the sacrum. You don't go into the tailbone. It'll be too far and it will shoot out. You'll feel it. But here, this is where you're going to really get the muscles that can create that pain down in the inner thigh, I feel it. Bring that leg back up. Now, when you decide that you're ready to straighten out the bottom leg, the leg you're working, this is a word of caution for you. Don't lift it up in a long lever. Make sure you always bring it up in a bend using your abdominals and roll around. So do you see the, the pattern? There's another spot. Remember again. Breath, release, let the leg go. Bring it back up. Go to the other side. Find the spot. Breath. And release and let go. I would say no more than about eight to ten minutes on that portion of the glute for starters. There'll be advanced videos coming up as the website grows. I would like you to get your balls now and we're going to start with a tennis ball because most people have uh, one of those. Going to lie down with your knees bent. One hand can be underneath the head for support. You're going to lift up your glute and you're going to place the ball right in the meaty part of the glute. And then you're going to use the leg of the side you're working and you're just going to move it in and out. Now see, that's pretty intense for me. 
I find that that's, even the tennis ball is a little too intense. Some people will enjoy it and they'll feel good with it, but don't overdo it because you'll create inflammation and create pain and I've seen that a lot. So I'm going to switch that out for a softer ball. I'm going to go for the racquetball. I'm going to put it underneath my glute and ah yeah that's good. Now see I can lay on it and roll into it and really be therapeutic. I can tune in. No suffering. No, we suffer enough. No suffering. And then come right into the glute, right, oh yeah. That's pretty intense. Aha, and there was a little, tiny little, you know, spasm kind of release. So you can use the balls all through the glutes, all around the entire glute and the sacrum. So you're going to bridge up and put the ball right on the sacrum and roll around in a circle until you find a spot that you feel on the sacrum. And there's a lot of really good spots. And you can just kind of swing your hips back and forth and roll out the sacrum. Now with the racquetball, the softball, it is very easy feels good by going to the SI joint. If you choose a harder ball, please be prepared to breathe. So let me show you with the model. The ball is going to go all in here. Here in this joint is going to be really juicy, yummy. And then all in this area. Here's your coccyx. You're going to steer clear of that. I'm going to go in the sacrum. Know where your sacrum is. It's the soul of your body. Know where it is. Come in here. It's the seat of the body. The center. The balance point. And work all in here. So please contact me on my contact page. If you have any questions, let me know. Check out treatyourselfnaturally.com and thank you so much for tuning in. Now it is do-it-yourself video turn-off time. Thank you.